Today I'm up in Hermitage Park in Northeast Edmonton. Um, they've got a dog park up here and they've got lakes and right now they have geese. I should actually figure out what I'm gonna say first, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was really surprised with how well A Long Road to Peace was received. And now there are all these conversations starting about maybe we want to go get distribution, maybe we want to put it on Netflix, and we had this originally we were just going to put it on YouTube and let the world see it, but it looks like maybe we're going to try to go somewhere with this film um, instead of waiting for the next one, which is really exciting and kind of stressful because I've never done anything like this before with any kind of uh, film project. So. I have no idea how the next couple of weeks are gonna go, or the next couple of months, or the next couple of years, honestly, let's let's be real. But, um, it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be really exciting. And I think part of what I'm most excited about is the fact that now I've, I've got this YouTube channel started and it's gonna be my own space that I can do whatever I want while I'm making sure that things that need to happen for other projects get done. So we'll see how that goes. But that said, uh, this week I realized that there was something I left out of the Welcome to Big Sky Life video that I shot. Um, there's something that's kind of been bugging me over the last couple of years uh, on, on social media and particularly on Facebook but on other, other social media platforms, Tumblr and uh, YouTube and everywhere really. Um, and that comes down to the type of discourse that we're having with each other. Um, what, what it seems to me like is that we have a lot of, a lot of tools that allow us to talk to each other, um, but one of the downsides to that is that with more people talking to each other and talking to us, we get overwhelmed. Um, and those, ca those conversations all happen really quickly. They happen in rapid succession and we never really have time to process them and sit back and think about them. And I want to slow the conversation down. Over the last couple of years, I've been experimenting with different ways of trying to slow down conversations between people who are very uh, polarized in their views, uh, especially around things like queer rights and trans rights, but also poli other political things. Um, and what I've found is that because so many of these conversations just turn into throwing rhetoric at each other, um, we're talking past each other. And I want to be clear, there's a time and a place for telling people to go get lost. I think there's a real importance to doing only as much as we can and not trying to do more than what we can. Um, it's really easy to over overwhelm ourselves, especially if you're like me and you approach the world through kind of an activist lens. I think that self-care and self-protection is really important. And at the same time, I think that there are ways to develop uh, approaches to conversations online that minimize the energy that it takes from ourselves and maximizes the end result. I wanna cover kind of the the why um, and the how initially. Oh, a puppy just chased a whole flock of geese into the lake and it's really cute. So adorable. Anyways, I'm going to I'm going to keep fleshing out my ideas on the subject and kind of talk about the the how of keeping our conversations online moving and the why because I've I was actually kind of surprised to have someone pop up on my Facebook feed and say hey why why, why do I care about this it's Facebook um, it's online it's there's there's a reason that there's a word or there's a reason that we call them keyboard warriors right thing is uh, I do I do have a lot of passion for this idea of connecting uh, and or connecting with people on a on a human level, uh, I think that's that's kind of the crux of it. Um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working on that um, 
outlining it properly and, and actually make it into something that's a little less rambly than this. Uh, in the meantime, in the next couple of weeks, you can expect some Pride videos, because Pride Week here in Edmonton is coming up. Uh, you can expect some discussions on both the history of Pride and uh, what Pride looks like now and what Pride is to me. Um, as well, I think I've got a, uh, a Big Sky story coming up. The first Big Sky story is going to come up. So expect that. Um, keep an eye on YouTube. And with that, I'm going to go get some geese footage. Some goose footage? Geese? Meese? Gooses? Let's go. Well, that was a lot of fun and made even better by the fact that I had this long lens that I rented from the lovely folks at VizTech. So I have it for a couple more days. I've got it for the full weekend and uh, maybe I'll try and try and get some more footage tomorrow or Monday morning. We'll see. We'll see how the schedule goes. I've got a dance event that I'm shooting all, all weekend. So that might take up more of my, uh, more of my time tomorrow than, than planned. Things like that tend to do. Anyways, YouTube, if I don't see you beforehand, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time.